Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm here to share with you my collection release for the month of December. This is the Better Not Pout collection and I am so in love with this, you guys. I have been collecting items for this Christmas collection for months now and well, yeah, months for sure. I kind of collect the Christmas things throughout the entire year and I just absolutely love this new paper line by Prima. This is the Sugar Cookie Christmas Collection that they came out with this year. And I just fell in love with the Vintage Santa. And I just went about collecting Vintage Santa things that I could find. And that was that. I haven't had a pink style Christmas collection yet. This is the, is it the third Christmas collection that I've come out with? Yes, it is. Cause I skipped a year, one of the years we skipped Christmas, but yes, this is the third one and I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to start first with the journal. For those of you who are new, this is a blank traveler's notebook size journal. It measures about four and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. It has 30 blank pages in there. There are 15 different sheets of paper. Perfect size, especially for the month of December. You could use it for a December daily just to stick some pictures and memories in for Christmas. Something I've done before is I've used it to keep track of all my Christmas lists, my gifts, um, addresses, people I need to send Christmas cards to, party plans, recipe ideas. They're so much fun and it's so versatile. You could do so much with it or you could just do your journaling in it. So this is the Better Not Pout journal. And this is the very first time I have not attached the title to the journal itself. The very first time in all these years. <laughs> but let me show you why. I thought the tag would be cute. It kind of reminds me of a Christmas gift, right? We would put our tags on our Christmas gifts. If you wanted to, you could take this and make it more permanent and stick it, you know, wherever you might want to stick it. But at the same time, you don't have to. So I just really like that. But because of the way that the cover kind of came together, I just didn't want to permanently adhere it. And I loved the idea of the gift tag on the journal. So first I will go through this journal and I will show you what it looks like. Here is the cover. I use this old ticking fabric here with this really pretty pink pattern. I had this great trim that I picked up at Joann's a couple years ago, and that's running across the top there. Okay, so there's this really cute doily here with a piece of dress. It's a piece of beaded dress that I have that's there in the center. And then a different tablecloth here. I really broke into the tablecloths <laughs> for this one. This is a star pattern tablecloth. I haven't put them all together yet, so I can show you. It's that piece of a tablecloth, and then I've just kind of gathered it and added it to the cover. So I just love that. And then I definitely couldn't cover up all of that paper because it's so cute. So the inside, that's the super cute inside of the cover. Like I mentioned, there are 30 pages front and back here. So we have some coffee dyed paper. This is a piece of Christmas letterhead that I have with this gold foil, super pretty. There is this old ledger paper here. Love that. More coffee dyed paper. This is out of a Christmas piano book for children. I love that large <laughs> learning your notes music there. There is a piece of folded coffee dyed paper, a Christmas book page, coffee dyed paper. This is a Christmas craft book, but it just had some really great images in there. Even the cutout patterns for the Christmas projects. I love that. Coffee dyed paper, I've shown this in yesterday's video. There is a music sheet in there from these Christmas Carol books that it's, I think it's 1960 that's from. And it just has this great, I love the different colors of ink and the images, it's so cool. Coffee dyed paper, white glassine bag, ledger paper, coffee dyed paper, and the center of the signature. And then moving backwards, ledger paper folds out. 
the other side of the glassine bag. The other side of that music paper. The book page. The other side of that book page. Music paper, coffee dyed paper, the ledger sheet, the stationery, and then the coffee dyed paper. And then it's side closed with this icy mint seam binding. All right, so that is the journal. Moving into the collection, I'm going to start with the larger items in the back. So there is a piece of wallpaper sample in here. It just has this great tan, almost gold stripe in here with the red. And I just think that's perfect for Christmas. This would be great to add as pockets or to make an envelope or tags out of. There are various book pages. This comes out of a Mary Inglebright book. So it just has some really cute images. This is a book page out of a Better Homes and Gardens Christmas craft book from the 60s. I am not going to say that these crafts are attractive <laughs> at all. They're just, but they make me smile, you guys. They really make me smile. So I thought it was a fun book page and I wanted to include it. And I hope that when you get yours, that it makes you smile too. There are just some very interesting craft projects. Let's put it that way. There's a piece of Christmas letterhead in there in here and it just has this great gold foiling there's a really fun book page here out of a family christmas this is a great book if you're looking for a christmas book that you don't want to tear up and you just want to keep out on the coffee table this was such a cute book to look through it's just full of christmas stories and poetry and images so that's a fun book there's another little book page in here from a hometown christmas there is a Christmas coloring sheet. They're all different, but they're this fun like six by six size. So you could cut it and make tags out of it if you wanted to. There is another page of that Christmas music. There's a business size Christmas stationery envelope with this cute deer and Christmas tree on there. There is another envelope. I love these full faced envelopes. I thought we could have a lot of fun with one of those this month. It's just a business size envelope, but it is a full open faced envelope. Super excited. There's a napkin for decoupage in here with this vintage style Santa. There are always two pieces of six by six scrapbook paper in the collection. This is that sugar cookie Christmas collection released by Prima this year. And I am in love with that pink deer. Oh my goodness. So cute. Here's the pattern on the back of that one. And then this super cute print again with those snowmen. I love the shabby mixture in here. Just really, really adorable collection. There's this really cute Christmas card in here. I just love that image. It is a card from Current again, which I always mention the fact that I just love current and all of their imagery and can I just point out she's making a Christmas tree out of the branch that's left on the stump of the log it's just so cute I just love it all right and then getting into the packages first I'll show you the bookmark since it's sitting right here and some of you may be wondering about mixing the red and green with the pink in your journal so I'm going to touch on that really quick. For me, I don't think it's a bad thing. You know, first of all, it's a journal. Every page could be different if you wanted it to be. If you were making an art journal, it would be, right? So the fact that this is all pink is fine. I still think it's absolutely fine to go into your journal and add the classic red and green at the same time. I, I don't think it's something that needs to be thought too hard about. That's just my opinion. So this is the bookmark and it will dangle outside of the journal and I think it's adorable. All right, so getting into this first bag here, paper clipped to the front is a green guest check and this adorable postcard. I had to special order these and get them printed, but I love them. It's perfect. Somebody else pointed out that it is the same Santa that's on the Prima, but I don't, I stopped and looked at it and he does have a different mouth and different eyes, but that is the classic 
Santa image that everything is replicating, you know, the last few years. And I think it's just one of those vintage images that's a public domain image you can change and mess around with, you know, as you want to. All right. So getting in here, there is a white glassine bag. There are two black chalkboard labels. This is a glassine envelope that measures about three and a half inches by five inches. Love those. A library card and pocket. A flash card. This is a jeweler's envelope. I love the windows on these. These are a lot of fun. There is a holiday charades game card. There is a pink guest check. So you can mix and match those colors of that mint and that pink. I love that. There is a layaway tag. There are two manila tags. One of them is blank. And then I always like to stamp one of them. So this one says Merry Christmas. And it has that Santa image there at the bottom. And then I enjoy using this leftover paper from making the covers and creating a tag out of it. So that is everything in the glassine bag. And then there are always some fibers that match the collection. These are great to use on the ends of your tags or your paper clips, anything you might want sticking out of the edge of your journal. It's just coordinating colors and they're always a lot of fun. And then there is a glassine bag with some more paper clips you can use. And then this last little glassine bag here, this is another vintage, well, it's not a vintage playing card. This is one I actually ordered as well with a vintage print of a Santa on there. And then everything in this bag, there are a lot of little punches. Um, there's some banner punches in here. There are some stars in here. There's some hearts for your strings if you want to use that or the banner pieces would be super cute too. So there's a couple of those stars. There's a vintage gift tag in here. Those are all different. There's a couple of those, a couple vintage <laughs> gift tags. There are two pink price tags. There's some more of the hearts. This is not a vintage Santa. It's a just a regular gift tag, but he's perfect. Another <laughs> star punch. There is a gift tag with this Christmas tree cut out in there. It actually punches right out. You can push that out and then you'd have a little Christmas tree window and you can use that on something else. There are two Christmas trivia game cards in here. I always love this game and it's just perfect. There is a pink claim check, a strip of three white tickets, and then there's another tag in here of this mason jar that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas to and from on the back. And then the glassine bag, of course. And that is everything in this little Santa bag. And that is everything in the December Better Not Pout collection. You guys, thank you so much for your patience with me during this last month. I know that you've probably all heard it by now, but I did have COVID. The, hub the hubby and I had COVID and we were really knocked down for a couple weeks. Solid. So I just appreciate your patience with me. I know I've really been absent from my channel and everything. There is a Facebook group, you guys, if you would like to stay in touch with me. And, you know, I've done a lot of posting over there since I haven't been able to get up in the craft room and things. So that link will be in the description box down below if you'd like to join. I love it when everyone shares the work that they're doing in their journals and collections over in the group. It's really inspiring and we all love it. So if you want to come be part of that, we would love to have you. There is also a design team that works with the collections. Their links will be in the description box down below. So be sure to go subscribe to them so you can check them out. I will also be sharing a video or two working in this collection. I have a lot of catching up to do. Like I said, because of being sick, I will be sharing. I have some, I have one, I have my Providence journal complete. I need to share a flip through. I also have another video that I still need to edit from that collection. But then I need to work on the So Blessed collection. I'm just gonna do it and share a flip through with you guys. So those videos will be coming, especially over the next couple of weeks as I have time to do that. So. As far as this release goes, I'm getting off track here a little bit. The link will be in the description box down below for my Etsy shop. It will be releasing at noon Eastern Standard Time, probably about an hour from the release of this video. 
Just wanted to let everybody have a chance to look at it first and know if they were interested or not. Anyone who orders the collection on release day will receive an extra goodie bag from me just as a thank you. If you have any questions at all about this collection, please message me over on Etsy. Things get really crazy when the release happens. So any questions, if you message me on Etsy, I see it pop up on my phone right away. It's much easier than a comment here on YouTube. So any questions, please feel free to ask. I know there's probably something I'm forgetting. There usually is, but I can't remember at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> close this video out. Guys, thank you so much again. Thank you to everyone ahead of time who will be purchasing this collection. All your kind words over on Facebook when I've shared the sneak peeks and things. I just appreciate you all so, so much. I've made some true friends here through YouTube. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and prayers, especially during this whole last month. I just appreciate you all. You can't, you can't even know the difference that those make. So I just appreciate, appreciate you guys. So thank you so much. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend. Bye.